the kitchen window at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. This must be Adrian's. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Separate bedrooms. Separate pictures. What gives here? To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Lie down, make yourself comfortable. So, you're a friend of Courtney's? Yes, doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions, these blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. I want to take you on a journey, a journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past, the occasions that made you laugh, the times that made you smile. No use leaving the thing half finished. I can't be right.
So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thank you. I'm all right now, detectives. Get a statement from Mrs. Black, but go easy on her. She's had a rough day. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I've told you what I know about the picture. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. 